Welcome to the network module. Today we want to talk about the network terms in the NetApp technology. So as we talk about the cluster and HA pairs actually, now I would like to talk a little bit about the network aspect of the NetApp technology. So as you can see, I categorize the network, network parameters and network side of the NetApp technology in three, three terms, uh, cluster interconnect, event network, and data network. So let's first talk about the cluster interconnect. So for the cluster interconnect, there is actually the connection that connect nodes together. It's a private network. Uh, if you want to see in this picture at, at the right, you can see it, this as a cluster interconnect. So we said that we need a uh, we need a connection between the the nodes, and this is a private network which is connecting the nodes together, and it's common in a multi multi node cluster scenario. The nodes actually needs to communicate with each other over uh, uh, the network, which we call it cluster interconnect network. In a two node cluster, the 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 interconnect can be switchless. So if there's a two node, it could be switchless. Uh, but cluster with more than two nodes require a private network or private cluster interconnect that uses switch. But if it's two nodes, it's, it could be possible without any switch. And uh, about the management network, we definitely need a network uh, for node management uh, because we need to access, we need to be able to access to the nodes and we need to be able to access to the uh, actual cluster for managing the cluster. A redundant connections could be useful for the management network because if you lose your management, so you cannot configure your storage. In some environment, in a smaller environment, or in test environment, in or for example in your lab also, uh, it could be possible that the management and the data networks might be a shared Ethernet network together, uh, which is uh, not a problem in small environments. The last one related to the network is data network. So we have a data network which actually clients or users or our servers or whoever is are looking for a data volume is actually can connect to the data, data network. It could be our clients, it could be hosts, servers, they, they actually it, uh, they access to this data network. And this data network can be uh, actually composed of one or more networks or you, you can have your scenarios, different scenarios, different redundant switches related to your network. But usually the thing that I, I like to configure is that uh, imagine that you have your nodes and this is your node. And in your node, you have different ports definitely, right? So this is, this is one port, two port here, two port here. This is node one and node two. And then you have your switch. So you can have one connection to this switch and you can have another switch as a redundant switch and have another connection to this one. And of course you have your upstream switches which they're connected to your core switch or aggregate switch or whatever switch that you have. But usually if I call this I switch an access switch, so you have uh, your upstream switches definitely, more powerful switches and you may also have redundant switches for that one or two. I don't care right now, but here you have your nodes, your NetApp nodes connected to the to your switches, and the other one also it could be this way. So you connect it to this switch to another port and connect it to this one to another port. So here's the redundant scenario, and so you can have a network which is completely redundant in order to serve your data. So this is a data actually network, network which uh, it should be redundant and the recommendation is to having a redundant scenario uh, for your network. We'll talk more about this scenario, but uh, for now, uh, we just wanna know that we have uh, actually three kind of networks in a NetApp scenario. One of them is just for uh, nodes that they should be able to talk to each other on that network. The other one is for management and then the other one is for serving data. So I hope you have a good time and uh, see you in the next module.